main concern uh, patient, my patients have is really their skin. They are worried that the skin looks dull, they look tired, they don't look as fresh as what they used to look like, they spend so much money on skincare products, you know, just to name a few, would be the cleansers, then you've got the toners, then you've got the mask, and then you've got the creams as well. So what they come to me is what can they do to make them look a lot more fresher and in regards to just have that beautiful, youthful glow back in their skin again. Um, ideally, we like to have you know, regular laser facials, but that's not something that everyone can have, you know, coming in every six to eight weeks. Uh, so other people might have that once a year, big rejuvenation of that skin, just to really repair what they had once beforehand and actually just rejuvenate and just have that beautiful glow as the months keep coming by. So here at CCM, uh, Concept Cosmetic Medicine, we actually do what we call a Fraxel laser peel and that is our big once a year rejuvenation where we look where it tightens up the skin, it tones the skin, it really helps the texture, uh, really brings down the pigmentation, just brings that beautiful glow back into that skin. So even in 12 months time after having a Fraxel laser peel, your skin looks better than before having actual Fraxel. No, it's not actually painful at all. Uh, we actually do, we actually put numbing gel on the face first. And I would say probably one out of five people or patients um, might actually have the happy gas. Now one out of five, I have to admit, I am one of the one out of five because I'm a bit of a chicken. Um, so there's absolutely no shame in, in having the happy gas, but certainly most people just look at me when they get given the happy gas and they go, why did you even give me this for? I would even need to use it because yeah, so it's pretty much a walk in the park and that's what we like to do at Concept. Uh, recovery time is uh, five days downtime, so three days looking a bit sunburnt. The first day you do feel a little bit sunburnt as well. Uh, the second and third day you look a bit sunburnt, but it's got that more of that golden brown bronze by day three. Day four, day five, and you feel tight as well. Day four, day five, you have that little bit of a light scabby flake that comes through and that's your old skin just coming out. And then day six, everything's done and dusted and you just get that, as the time goes on, you get this beautiful glow. And even in about three months to six months, your skin continues to improve because all that collagen and everything else just brings that beautiful skin just come back to the surface again. Fraxel actually covers quite a number of different lasers. Here at Concept Cosmetic Medicine, we use the Fraxel Repair. And you may have heard of the word Fraxel uh, Refine, Fraxel Jewel, Clear and Brilliant. So there's lots of Fraxel machines there, so it does make it very confusing. So I might actually explain a little bit about what Fraxel Repair is first, and then why it's so different and how it actually works. So the Fraxel Repair is like the grandfather of all the Fraxel machines. It's the one that's got the most power, most gives the most best bang out of just actually one treatment, while all the other machines, you have to really crank it up. And by cranking it up, you cause more, um, I guess, more pain, more swelling, and you also have to do it a few times as well. So you have to do one treatment, and then three, four weeks later, you do the second treatment, and then again and again to actually get a good result. While for the Fraxel Repair, how it works is it's a fractionated CO2 ablative laser. So it actually, it's like if you imagine you've got your skin and it beams microscopic, you know, a column down. So it actually targets all different levels of the skin. And what it does is by doing so, you don't have that collateral damage to the surrounding skins. And it has that beautiful repair that comes through. And so after just that one treatment, that's all you really need rather than repeated treatment so it just brings that um, repairs multiple levels of that skin to have that to to improve your texture your tone the texture and the pigmentation of the skin as well the actual procedure doesn't take long it actually only takes us about half an hour to do all the lasering but it's the, I call it marinating because it feels like when people are sitting there with the numbing gel over their face, it feels like they're marinating because it's about an hour with the numbing gel, but it's an important part of it because you really want to, well, we like to make sure our patients are feeling nice and comfortable so that the only thing they feel is either nothing or there's this slight tingling prickly sensation that's got a little bit of warmth to it. 
So another common area is the decolletage and also the neck area as well because that's an area that people find there. The skin gets a bit crepey, it gets sun damage from the sun's rays hitting onto the chest as well. Um, another area is the back of the hands, the forearms and even down to the legs as well but the further away from the face the longer it takes for that scabbing to finish but usually most people aren't bothered by you know the other areas because it's much more easier to cover up you know like a little scarf around the neck or you know just having a little bit of top just to cover and protect that new skin that's coming through. People notice the change of their skin in, in regards to the texture and the tone and the pigmentation usually in the very first two weeks but it actually continues to improve over time so even the next three to six months. Um, I was saying earlier that the skin even at 12 months time after a Fraxel still looks better than if you haven't had anything done 12 months beforehand. Of course we always try to uh, protect what we've actually done which is really trying to protect your skin from the sun using you know avoiding the sun making sure you're wearing zinc based sunscreen and everything else um, some people actually even in that six months time they might even give another boost to the skin as well by using an injectable moisturizer just to amplify that collagen so they both work beautifully together but really it's the big rejuvenation of that skin so we do expect that you know, in a year's time, your skin is still better than what it was beforehand. So you can use the Fraxel laser peel on specific areas of the face. Some of the places that people have a lot of concerns under the eye or around that mouth area where the skin's become quite thin, quite crepey, um, lots of lines around that area. So by doing it heavier and we change some of that settings, which is what's great about the Fraxel Repair Machine, is that we can change it to different depth and also different oomph with it as well and to make it um, improve those particular areas and focus on that improvement in those areas as well. So the best time to have a Fraxel laser peel is winter time and people ask me why winter time and that's mainly because you have less sun out and about and uh, in summertime people you know want to go into the beach they want to go outside you know to eat um, when you've got that beautiful sun there so it's not ideal when you have lots of sun exposure um, it doesn't mean that you can't have it during summertime it's just that we need to be absolutely vigilant about having you know incidental sun being onto your skin you want to nurture this new skin of yours it's it's not a good idea to jeopardize it here at CCM it's a doctors only clinic where only the doctors perform these particular procedures the Fraxel laser repair machine is one that is not commonly found so the Fraxel machines they're they're found in many places but they're much more the junior Fraxel machines so this one the Fraxel repair machine is like the grandfather, the most powerful of all the machines even put together and we can actually change the settings and adjust the settings so that it is safe for different skin types and I think that's what people got to realise that you know different machines can suit different skin types but making sure that the person who's actually using the Fraxel machine actually knows what they're doing and that they can actually change the setting to make sure it suits and it's safe for that particular skin type. So it's not usually a machine that's found in a beautician setting or anything like that at all.